Well, when you think of the home for Canadian music, Toronto, Vancouver, the Maritimes come to mind, but Canada's official home for its musical history will have a new home in the West. And our country's most successful artists are stepping up to support the new National Music Centre in Calgary. Here's Reed Feist. And making music history for decades. With one more first for Canadian rocker Randy Bachman helping to launch the country's National Music Centre in Calgary. And it was this song that helped propel Bachman and the Guess Who to international fame. American woman topping the charts in Canada and the US. It's unique chords coming from this guitar, a 1959 Les Paul, and now will be housed here for all Canadians. Myself, Gordon Lightfoot, Neil Young, Joni Mitchell, all these people have these celebratory relics from the past that we used to make our music on as teenagers growing up in the prairies in Canada and I've had no place to put them. Picked up in Nanaimo, BC for about $70, now priceless, just like the over 2,000 artifacts and instruments in the center's collection. And Calgary will be their home when the $168 million facility opens in a year's time, spanning across a downtown street, the hub of music history, an incubator for new talent features tens of thousands of square feet of exhibition and performance space. Albertans and Calgarians love Canada. We want to share our stories with all, of, with all of Canadians as it relates to music. There was some debate where this centre should be built. In the end, organizers in Calgary stepped up with the cash and the drive to share and understand music in the West. This will make Calgary the music capital maybe of Canada, obviously for Canada, but maybe of North America. I think Canadian music is so fantastic. Every band is so different. You can't compare two Canadian bands. None are the same. None as unique as Bachman, and he intends to be back, planning to record his next album in the center's new studio. Reed Feist, Global News, Calgary.